quality in past the test until this morning. I went out about 2.30 in the morning to get some fresh air. And uh, I was sitting in my car and it was raining. It was kind of cool. Sat out there for about 20 minutes. Observed a white van come in, pull in, back in, sit there for a while. Then I seen the guy get out, so I figured, all right, well, didn't see him come back, so everything's cool, right? I'm not saying it was the white van, the person in the white van, but I'm going to tell you, my car got ransacked last night in the middle of the night, early morning, right after. It had to have been because just a couple hours later, I went back out to my vehicle when it was starting to get daylight, to start taking my stuff out, and guess what happened? I found that my door was ajar, and I took a video of what I could. My car had been ransacked again. They didn't get anything. They opened up the console. They spread all the shit out of the console, which wasn't much. It was I had just cleaned my car and just straightened it out again after it had been at the shop. And so, knowing that I had just straightened it out, everything was nice, neat, and clean, organized. That's all on video from yesterday. But what's also on video is, look who's in the car, right? He's still there. Okay. Everything else is still there. What you see in there is that they just went through the front seat and they ransacked shit. They threw my jacket on the floor to open up the console because my jacket had been on the console, okay? And my black hat was on top of my jacket. So I found that to be on the floor underneath the purple bag that had been sitting on the back seat with Cookie Monster on it. Now, why in the fuck do you people get off on going through people's vehicles and shit? But you didn't even get anything because I don't keep anything personal of value in that vehicle. And anything that's in that vehicle, there's duplicate of. I do know that what I keep was still there and because I'm in an area where it's legal the little bit of medical marijuana that was in my vehicle it was obviously found by them they tried to leave with it but they dropped it on the floorboard by the door so I'm going to go enjoy that before I hit the road relax and do some more recording and reporting about all the frivolous acts that are happening out here. But I can tell you, the quality in where I stayed was very pleasant stay right up until yesterday. It was clean. The people are nice. And they were kind of helpful. They helped as much as they could. And they're good for laughs. So with that being said, it was a comfortable stay. I don't hold it against the employees what happened at the hotel, but I can tell you that Choice Privilege Hotels, if you're going to take money from a guest, you ought to be responsible for what happens on your premises and your guests. That's pretty fucking cheesy, don't you think? To try to swindle out of not being responsible. That means you're a low class. So anybody that works for Choice Hotels, I would say do yourself better. You can get money, more money, working for yourself. Clean houses on your own or do errands for somebody. You don't need to be disqualified by Quality Inn Choice Privilege Hotels.